Pumpers Market, guys. Welcome, everybody. Gonna have some fun today. Welcome to all the new guys in my MIC. We uh, we got rid of the monthlies, which is really nice, guys. Oh man, no more. We had so. I mean, we're focused on quality and not quantity because it really takes more than a month to learn a trade, guy, guys. So those that don't have an opportunity to join the monthly, we'll all save up for when you can afford it. So. Market is crazy, guys. Okay, let's start some. Give them a minute or so. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is this. We want to talk about the map. So I'm going to bring Alex on, and he's going to announce the map winner. So what the map – so let me, let me bring Alex on while I explain what's going on with the map. So we are loving – we are loving the fact that there's no more movies because – hey, what's up, brother? What's up, bro? What's up? Are you back in New Jersey? I am back, bro, back in paradise. Good. So how was your trip, man? You want to tell them? <laughs> It was good, bro. It was good. It was a nice, small therapy trip to Miami. I had a friend's birthday, but uh, you were talking about the MAP program, bro. You want to explain that while I kind of pull, uh, pull up the winners? Yep. So we had this. So we started around, well, man, how long has it been? Now? It's like almost four years now? Uh, it's three and a half years, bro. <laughs> My God. It feels like 30 years. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, bro. We were in the So when we started, we, we wanted to create a different environment than everybody else. We're, this is not a dictatorship where we stop people from talking. The whole intent is to create a true trading community where members help other members. Because yep. there's no way that anybody can police thousands of people in a chat room. You have to police yourself. You have to be a good citizen. Same concept as society right like america is not chaotic you need policing unfortunately you do need policing but for for us we like to police ourselves and yeah. this is why we only want good quality people in the mic that's why we we actually kicked out a lot of people lately and that's what started us to get rid of the monthly because the people that were troublemakers were the guys that got in on the nine nine dollar and they just want where's the lambo uh, i'm here just it's like fuck you you know they, they, they just cause me trouble they, yeah. they are not serious guys. And so the members didn't like it. We didn't like it. So we said, screw this. So we said we got rid of the monthly, which worked out great. We may have less members, but it doesn't matter, right? It's all about the quality. So every quarter, we like to, to give back, meaning nominate, to, to give uh, appreciation to our members because there's no way we can ever run a community this big without – true members helping other members including moderators we have like how many moderators now 22 yeah over 20 moderators so how many other rooms out there has 22 moderators guys how many um, other rooms actually answers your questions <laughs> i seriously do how many rooms are doing these lives every week yep. <laughs> multiple times uh how many webinars we have a week now oh my god we, we, <laughs> we, we oh. have well, we have Monday, Alex, YouTube video, Tuesday, Bao, Instagram, Tuesday, large cap webinar, Wednesday, new member webinar, Thursday, strategy webinar, and then Saturday's weekend mentoring. Yeah, people don't understand we have options in large cap too. So we'll, as you can see, man, in order to run something this big, you remember, Alex, when we started, I was like, we have to have a, a ratio between moderators and yep. members. Yep. So it works out nice, right? So, so we wanted to give back to our members. And, and part of it is called the MAPS, the Member Appreciation Program. So we started this way back, three and a half years ago. And it's still running strong. We do this around every quarter. Yep. And you have a shirt? you have the MAPS shirt? Yeah, actually, I do have it. Give me, listen, let me go into my closet. Let me grab it. It's uh, pretty cool, guys. I mean, 
we 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 love our members. I mean, our members are basically we are members. That's that's the whole thing. I, this is not dictatorship, guys. So show you our members story. of the same community that you guys are in. So, so this is our map shirt. It says MIC Member Appreciation Program with like charts and lines and everything. And usually, what we do is on the shoulder here, we put your MIC. Give me a sec. On the shoulder, we put your MIC username. So every single shirt is custom. Not one shirt will be like the other. And we like to do this specially so that when the people are wearing these shirts, that is special and is unique. So basically, guys, what we do with this member appreciation program is every quarter, we like to reward members that are helping other members, which entices our community to get better. Uh, we nominate about 20 to 25 people every single quarter. And if you didn't get nominated it doesn't mean that we didn't recognize you it doesn't mean that we don't like you it doesn't mean anything like that uh it just means that you know you're gonna probably do recognize on the next map so this map guys i'm gonna post it in mic right now these winners of the member appreciation program be on a lookout for a dm from our moderator oliver tan he's gonna get your information and send you a bunch of uh map shirts for free so let me just kind of Post this here. These are the map winners, guys. It's Girls Trade 2, Xander, Christopher Lee, Akeem ALA, Joe Angelo, Jay Trigger, Trade Archer, Twin 1, Twin 2, Tyler, Brock, Sly, Selena, Pima, Two Way Trader, Paldo, Tony, Tony S, FOMO Sapien, Investor, Steven, Tay, and Edge Trader, guys. So every single quarter, guys, we like to reward members. And these are nominated by the members themselves. So the members help to nominate other members because, you know, we don't see what happens in the DMs. We don't see what happens in the private messages. So oftentimes there's moderators and members helping each other. And, you know, it kind of just makes the overall environment good. So that is basically our MAP program. That is our member appreciation program. In the past, other people tried to copy this. They did it one time, and no surprise, they never did it again because they don't care, guys. We do this because we care. We don't make money on clothing. We lose money on this stuff, and any residual money, we donate to charity. So this is kind of our way of rewarding our members and our way of you know, helping our community get better. You know, We have a bunch of members in our family. We, our team is big. Our moderators are big, and it takes an army to run this thing, guys. So we just right. want to be able to help those people that are – if you didn't get it, it means you might have gotten it in the past. Correct. Right? So we, we try to stage it out. Otherwise, the same guys will get it every time, right? And um, and so just it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate you that. It just means that, you know, man, you might get it next time, you know? Exactly. exactly. And if you think there's someone that should be nominated that wasn't, just send me a DM. I will review it with our moderators. And if it does make sense, we will make an exception, guys. I'll did we uh, give out total, Alex? Uh, May, let me actually just count real quick. Um, one, two, three. 21. Not bad. Okay. So we have a bunch of them. So, um, like I said, man, we, we also dominated a bunch to become junior moderators. You want to talk about the two guys? Yeah. So we have Chris Lee that was nominated for a junior moderator and Joe Angelo. These guys are really exemplary examples of just helping members every single day guys you know we for all the moderators and our entire team that we have and how big we do you know bow and i i swear to god we do this 24 7 man we do it so much that i have no time to hang out with my friends i have no time to hang out with my family if i am not trading or if i'm not doing mic i'm probably asleep guys so there's only so much that we could do ourselves there's only so much time in the day and having our moderators having our junior moderators having their members be able to contribute from the lessons they've learned and send the elevator back down is almost priceless guys you know we are trying to build a community we're trying to build a family you know COVID threw down our meetups we haven't been able to have a meetup in a very long time and you know once things kind of ease over you know we plan on having meetups again we plan on doing everything you know training is a very lonely business it's a very lonely job and we started MIC to kind of meet traders and connect with traders and you know, here we are three and a half years later, still doing what we sought out to do on our very first day. Correct. So I think, uh, so thank you. We want to thank all the members that make this possible because 
where else can you start as a member that know nothing about trading and then all of a sudden now you're a moderator? We actually have a lot of them as moderators. So that's, that was the whole concept. The whole concept is members helping members. Um, we have a lot of people that started trading with no knowledge of trading, right? Alex and now become a moderator. So Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy because I remember James joined on day one of MIC. And, you know, three years later, he's now a full-blown moderator. He's making $1,000 a day. He is trading part-time. You know, if someone like James that had no prior experience, if someone like Tom Diesel that used to drive an Uber, someone like me that used to work at Starbucks could do it, it is possible. But have realistic standards, guys. Don't think that you could get rich quick in a month or a week. If you are joining MIC and you're not watching the videos, if you are not participating, you will not make money. Just because you join doesn't mean you're entitled to make money. You still have to work. You are getting a gym membership. If you have a gym membership and you don't show up, you will not improve. This is a tool to help you guys improve, guys. So that's kind of the main things we want to talk about. I know Bao had a rant that he wanted to go on about pumpers and manipulators and all that stuff. He kind of wanted to expose some guys. So I'm going to let him do his thing, and I will coordinate with the map winners to make sure that you guys get your customized T-shirts ASAP. All right. Thanks, Alex, man. You got it, bro. Good luck. Getting back to work. Even his vacations, he's working, guys. I mean, I just love what we do, guys. I mean, I'm not here to sell shit anymore. I love the fact that there's no more monthly. There's, there's, I, we are done selling. I told you guys. We're, we're going we're gonna to wake up one day, and, and I'm going to be done. And so that's what we did, man. We woke up and said, you know what? I'm, me and Alex woke up like, I'm tired of this stuff, guys. I, uh, we, we know our value. We know all that. So I, so you're going to notice a different type of MSC now. We're not, we're done selling, man. If you want to join, you join us as a, as an annual or a lifetime. That's pretty much it. You hit up Tosh, you hit up Tosh. If you want, I'm not here to <laughs> try to nickel and dime everybody for a $200 per month. Cause actually Alex and I don't need that stuff. So we we actually so sick of it guys so this so members how do you like the new environment in mic that once we got rid of the monthly there's a lot of uh, members that are watching now i'll let them them tell them feel because i i mean i feel so much more relief but you know we are still doing these lives uh one day we may just stop doing the lives of the public people and just do it for internal mic guys so enjoy it while it lasts we warned you i warned you that monthly might be gone i warned you that one day we'll wake up and maybe not even not even want to do this anymore so ig live youtube live those things may come to an end as well so we have so much free content on the youtube channel guys that man we have so many people learning from the youtube so if you find value in YouTube, you learn, you make money, then you join. That, that was our whole intention. I've been doing this for a long time in terms of helping others to learn to trade for free. Trading Fish has been around for a decade. A lot of the, a lot of the strategies, techniques, trading ideas came from the Trading Fish. And that's why, you know, we have the Trading Fish Academy within MIC. So that's the whole thing. So let me see some of these guys. Uh, uh, yep. So let's stick, so let's get back to what the pumping this guys. So I don't care if you pump anymore today. Today's your free day to pump. Pump whatever you want, man. Pump it up, guys. By Agris, Cialis, pump it up. So as you know, the market always shifts. Okay. So a few weeks ago, it was all shorting. People crying. I can't make money. Blah blah blah. You see all these guru. Expert guru guys want to give up on training, want to give up on life. I can't do this anymore, man. I'm the manipulators, the algos. Uh, there's nothing moving. Oh, my God. If you see any motherfuckers cry. Hold on, guys. If you see any guys fucking cry, guys, I would say unfollow their ass. I mean, dude, what the fuck? Why are you fucking crying? You know, training is not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, we'd be all be billionaires, okay? So market goes in cycles, guys. So what happens is this. People were crying. And so, you know, short sellers were having a field day. So now what happens is this. As, so when, when, when things are crowded, meaning when, when everything, if everybody is a short seller, you know, things, how, how do you say this? When things are least likely to happen, it happens in trading. 
And so everyone was crying about how the markets were shitty and all that. Couldn't, things couldn't go up. There were no runners. Even even our friends were like, there's a joke yesterday, man. I quit trading if uh, there's no new runners today. And then we woke up to there's like 10 new runners. Things are running all over the freaking place. It's insane, right, guys? And and where they come from? Pumpers. I'm not blaming pumpers. I love pumpers, guys. So this is a day for you guys to pump up, okay? But I want to explain you how to make money pumping. I want to explain you how to make money pumping and then also how to make money when the pumps are dead. So I had a, I have so many friends, guys. I bought some of these stocks, and they're up tons. I didn't even know they were up tons, right? Like CEI. It was like 4 or $5. And they're in like, a, like $3, right? So from a $3, and you're up. You're up like 50%. You're like, there's no way I can lose. And then you're up 100%. You're like, there's no way I lose. But guess what, guys? Everybody that did not sell on the way up CI got their butt kicked because it went all the way back down to 90 cents. And when it goes down to 90 cents, the first instinct is like, oh, my God, there's a couple of things you do. It didn't just go straight from four or five bucks down to 90 cents. It did it in a couple of days. And so what happens is it traps more and more and more average down guys so if you're in let's say you're in at three bucks you're up like almost 100 percent on ci now it tanks back down you're like yes i'm going to buy more and so you're buying at 350 because the guy's like to the moon no it's all gravy it's all good it's going ten dollars like dude and so what happens the anatomy of a pump works like this guys this is how i went broke before and i'm telling you this is how you will go broke if you pump it if you play the pump the way that normal people play it right because what happens is like you're in, you don't believe it. You're like, okay, this thing was at a dollar. I'm gonna wait. Oh shit, it's at two bucks. Oh, it's topped up. It's like three bucks. And you're like, oh my god, I finally got FOMO. For some reason, we always buy at the top, right? We, we don't wanna buy at a dollar. We don't wanna buy at two bucks because we're like, dude, it's too high. But then when it goes three bucks, we're like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm all in, I'm all in. So we buy some at three dollars. And then because because the guy's pumping it, you're like, I finally believe. I finally, finally believe because it's what it was at a dollar. Now it's at three bucks. I believe. I missed. I think it's gonna go to ten dollars. First it was five bucks. Then it's going to ten dollars because these the guy that pumping it is telling me everybody's ten bucks. And so I'm. So you're in at three dollars, but you're only in small. And then when it goes up to five bucks, you're like, why did I fucking load the boat? Why, why did I mortgage my house, sell my fucking ribs on my car, sell my fucking car? You know, go get blood transfusions to get more money to put in. And so you're praying that it goes down. So I'm in at three bucks, and that sucker's like four fifty or something, right? And you're like, please, please dip so I can add more. So when it dips, you're like, yes, I'm adding more. And then what happens is, oh shit, it didn't hold. It dipped more. And so the next thing is at like two bucks, and you're like, oh shit, okay, I'm down. Okay. okay. Then what happens? You just turn a big winner into a big loser because you're greedy. You're praying for it to go down so you can add more. How dumb is that? The stock started under a dollar. It goes up to four bucks, and you're praying that it goes down so you can add more. You are the sheep. So what happens is this. The moment you buy these pump and dumps, guys, don't be averaging down. You miss the play. You have to see where it comes from, right? So that you make money on the way up, guys. Pumpers make the money on the way up. On the way up is the only way to make money on a pump. On the way down. So what they say is stair step up, being really slow to go up. But when it tanks, take a look at CI chart. When it tanks, straight away. It went down to 90 fucking cents from $4.80, guys. In matter of like, you snap a finger and it's freaking down. And you're like, you're like, just what the fuck happened? Okay? So pumping is okay. I don't give a damn people come. But what you need to do is this, guys. You need to understand their language. You really think this shit is going to go 10 bucks? Why are they telling you $10? Because <laughs> they're obviously trying to get the fuck out, too. And, trying to... and then when shit tanks, when shit tanks, you are nervous, guys. But these guys are not nervous because they're in so cheap and they're, they're probably selling to you. Who knows? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Next thing you know, boom, you're dead. Okay, guys, so take a look at CEI. It's been a long time since the stock did that, but that happens every single week on every single pump and dump. It just happens to be CEI ran for a longer period of time with bigger volume. CEI was the catalyst that launched all these plays, guys. Okay, and so now, but the thing is that the pumpers got a lot of money. They got a lot of power because there was looking... Everyone's looking for the next, for the next CEI. And so 
Now they have DATS. I don't know where DTS is going to go, but they're pumping it. And now not only are they pumping it, other people are pumping it. It's insane, guys. Hold on. This is crazy markets right now, guys. So not only are they pumping it, guys, you have other, other people pumping their stuff. So, I mean, I'm not going to call out names, and I don't want you to look them up and stuff, but they're, they're, they're guys that – it's unbelievable. If you're in MIC, you'll see it. It's, it's, it's like – I was like, how the fuck do, you, do these ex-hedge fund guys – they're not really ex-hedge fund guys. They're just – they're broke-ass ex-hedge fund guys. And, and you take a look at what they, they pumped before – SPCE. Take a look. All you need to do is take a look at their track history, guys. The way you make money on a pump is once again buy the pump early, put a stop loss, learn what's called a trailing stop loss, so you can actually trail it as the look goes up. Okay, so I'm going to give you the biggest advice if you want to play pumps: trailing stop loss. Then you set it, you forget it, you're good. You're hoping it does not die overnight, obviously, because stop loss cannot be triggered overnight or pre-market or after hours, okay? But during the day, if you're working, use a trailing stop loss. That way you're fine. Or use this a hard stop, meaning like below this level, do not – you get out. That way it ensures that when you come back home, you don't see what the fuck is at 90 cents. See, I was $4. Now it's 90 cents. I just took a shit. I went to the bathroom, took a dump. <laughs> the stock dumped. Happens all the time, guys. It happens all the time. That's why I carry my laptop with me and my phone with me and shit like this. Okay, guys? So don't don't underestimate the power of shit when it takes. Because what happens is this, man. A lot of times the bids are fake, too. It's them. It's them bidding it up. Them as in algo and institution, whatever. Pumps happen because of a low float. They buy up most of the float. This happens before. And you know what, man? I guarantee you, in 35 years, you're going to see... CI lawsuits from the SEC, all this stuff. It's going to all come out because, you know, man, these things don't happen. And, and then there, there's there's a lot of fucking shit behind the scenes, right, guys, that we don't know about. Uh, so how do you trade this pump? You have to learn that pumps always get dumped. I hate to say it. People hate me, but, man, you're going to go broke, man. If, if a pump is so easy, everybody make money. The people that make money are the early guys that get in. And they get out. It doesn't matter where you get in on the pump, guys. Does not matter. It will go back down below where you bought it. If you don't believe me, check out CEI. How many how many guys actually made money in CEI? Only the guys that sold. The rest of them just got punished. 90 cents we went to, guys. Okay? So what is the next pump? We don't know. We all look at this. It's like, whoa, D-T-A-T-S. I'm taking a look at the guy's pump. It's like ridiculous. It's, I, I just cannot believe that the, the, the amount of shit that, that these guys are talking to pump this shit they're talking about. So um, there's a buyout. Microsoft's going to buy them out. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Microsoft's going to buy them out. Um, it's just ridiculous, guys. Hold on. I'm, I'm placing some orders here. <laughs> Microsoft not buying them out. If they are, then good for them. But you know what, man? I tell you right now, man. If you're going to fall for that kind of shit, if Microsoft's going to buy them out, why would Microsoft, why would this stock keep going up like this? Microsoft would want a cheap valuation. It'd be the most quiet thing in the world for a buyout. If I wanted to buy a company out and I saw this company go 300%, I'm not touching it anymore. It's too fucking late. So therefore, you know what, man? If you want to play the pump, play the pump. It's completely fine. Put a stop loss in, guys. And this is where education comes because most people think that most people think that this shit doesn't go down. That they'll be up rich forever. Same thing as Bitcoin. You know what happened? Bitcoin is going hundred thousand and it went all the way up to twenty thousand. The, the ones that have sold had a plan. So this is part of what we teach all the time, guys. I'm not here to pump MIC, but you need some sort of proper education. Otherwise, you are just going to get destroyed, guys, in the market. So let me bring someone on. Who raise your hand if you want to come on, guys? Raise your hand. You want to come on? You want to pump a stock? You want to talk about a stock that you want to pump and learn about the anatomy of a pump? (laughs) 
What's come on? I don't know what these languages are. Who's talk? Is this um, Eastern European language? Hey, we're here to short the stock, guys. If you want to learn how to short stocks, you come to us. But I mean, um, raise your hand. Anybody want to come on? All I see are these weird languages. What's going on here? First, we had those um, Middle Eastern, Iranian, Iranian, and then, so I, I don't know what's going on, guys. Anybody want to get on? Otherwise, we'll end it. It's fine. I'm giving you opportunity to pump your stock. So let's let's um, let's let's have fun and, and and bring someone to pump their stock. Who wants to come up? Talk about Prague. Yeah, Prague went from 140 to 270 today. Prague is not big enough to be pumped, guys. There's no, so I'll tell you how these guys get pumped, okay? They have 500,000 followers, 200,000 followers. They have rooms full of guys. If, if guys just bought 1,000 shares each, it can go up. And usually these are all smaller float that they can buy in the whole entire float with. So like, see, I started at 50 cents. So, you know, you can pretty buy a lot of shares at 50 cents. DATS is going to be a little difficult because it's at $13 right now. So when it dies, it's going to die hard. But you know what, man? Until then, so the anatomy of pump is the early shorts get killed. And then it's always the same way, okay? The first, the early shorts get destroyed. And then the chaser longs get annihilated. Both sides will fucking lose. If if they don't fucking get the hell out, right? When they're supposed to get out. <clears throat> My voice is a little dead, guys. I'm so sorry. And if nobody wants to get on, is, there really, is this all boss right now? What do you guys want to talk about today? Because we have one, yeah, you, you can bring in one person to come on. You want to raise your hand? I don't know who's a bot anymore and who's real because I don't even understand this language that's coming out, guys. All sorts of weird language. GWH is not a short. I mean, I don't know what, what it's a low, it's, it's a spat. Who the hell knows? You think you want to chase that $26? It started at 10 bucks, 8 bucks. So you have to be smart, man. You, you have to be fucking smart. Okay, let me bring on random people. I can't, I can't, I can't bring run on. I, some of these are just bots, I guess. I was like, who the heck's going on? Guys, you need to use the right broker as well. We use Cobra, mentioned MIC for discount. Because with the right broker, you, you can do as max that you lost, things like that. You, uh, on Ameritrade and stuff, well, you, you, you're using, you, it's like me coming in with an AK-47 and using a pellet gun, guys. I don't even know who's real on this anymore. Preferred platform. Like I said, Cobra Trading, guys. DOS platform. Guys are in MIC, guys. Ask these questions in MIC. Um, I guess I want to end it, man. I, I don't, I'm going to end it. I thought it'd be more fun, but I, I don't know. These are bots. I don't understand what's going on. Um, I want to run, run Chrissy on, but it doesn't work. I try to get you to come on. You want to... I don't know what platform you're using, but it doesn't work. All right, guys, that's it. I guess um, I thought it'd be more fun today, but uh, I don't know what's going on here. Instagram is getting weird, man. Maybe we'll, we'll switch it up because this is uh, I don't know who's real or not. Go to myinvestmentclub.com, guys. I'm not here to sell membership. How does it work? You, you text Tosh if you want to know. Okay, go live with Chrissy here. Hello. Hey, Val. How are you? How are you doing? Great. I'm a member. I've been with you for about four months. Really? What's your name in MIC? 
Um, my full name is Christine. The last name starts with the N. I'm not going to say it. For no, here. but uh, in MIC, your member name is Christine, and my last name. Oh, starts okay. <laughs> is that with a K or a C? I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, with a K. Okay, great. So tell us, everybody, um, where you're from and how you found us and your your spirits with trading so far. Um. Well, I'm from North Carolina, and I just uh, got my MBA. And I decided to take like the summer off to um, learn how to day trade again. I did it like years ago before all these tools were available, before all these YouTube uh, pumps. And I saw Alex's video on how he made, you know, half a million dollars on M AMC. And I was going, okay, how the hell did he do that? Because all these people are waiting for this, you know, Moas, right? Um, so that just sparked my interest. And actually, I never even heard of a, 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 a platform like you guys have. Um, so I got really lucky that I found you first. Um, so how, what, what do you study right now? How, how are things going? Because you, you are, um, this is a very good example of how, how you, you are pretty, pretty much new to trading, essentially. It's been a long time. So consider yes. yourself like starting over, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it's been four months. So tell us how, what you, because a lot of people wonder, like, okay, they're in your position like yourself. I want to get started, but it's so overwhelming. I don't even know where to begin, right? Yeah. So um, when you joined, I, what happened? I, I will say this. Um, the accelerator course is, I wish I would have done it four months ago. I upgraded to annual uh, about a month ago and got access to it. And that was just, because I'm like a, you know, I'm a student, you know, I like things in that kind of order. And so that really, it answered a lot of questions that I had. So, so uh, that's called the, that's, uh, the Jumpstart yeah. Accelerator. So you can hit Latosh for that, guys. Uh, we we actually still selling that on for other people too. But I think I, we may just make it for MIC. But uh, but that, that really jumpstarted, right? It, it cut the learning curve tremendously. Yeah, I really wish I would have done it um, months ago. <laughs> Months ago would have been great, um, but I wanted to ask you. It? I'm sorry. How many times did you watch it? I've been like rewatching certain certain parts of it. Like I just take my time because it's like eight hours, and I'm taking notes. Correct. Um, and I don't want to get like burned out on it, where I just want to get through with it. So I'm I'm just I'm taking that, my time. That that is, that is exactly correct. Because a lot of people go through it, they're like, "What the heck." Because these things, it, you need, like in anything, right, to be proficient in something, you have to keep doing it over and over and over. And, and so that's, that's, what, that's what makes it great. I, I want people to understand, like, just because you watch it one time doesn't make you the master trader. So, no. And, and I think um, another uh, person that you had come on Instagram said the same thing. Like, if I get to a part that I was like, eh, I want to know a little bit more about that, then I go and find the video that talks about it. But the video library is pretty extensive and that can be overwhelming when you're new. Yeah. Um, even though, you know, Tay has her, you know, her little cheat sheet for going through that. Um, it can be a lot because those videos are long. I mean, some of them are over an hour. Um, so the ones, the ones that are over an hour, the ones I made a long time ago, they're the Trading Fish Academy. So, yeah. so the way it is, is we have the Faye study guide, which you saw. So, like I said, trading is very difficult when you start. It's like a foreign language. Yeah. It's like, it's definitely a different language, right? And so, you have to learn grammar. You have to learn the syntax. You have to learn all this stuff. So, it's overwhelming. And it's like, where do you begin, to be honest? The, the best Honestly, it was. It, it, like, when I started, I was like, I just didn't understand the, the lingo and it was like hot chick what the hell is that <laughs> and I, I explained to my husband well i said yeah i get it now it's like the stock that goes straight up right it's it's the it, it's the one that ever the shiny object that everyone's looking at for the day because everybody wants to be in the action yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and so so, it, so the accelerator really did help um so in keeping with your topic the question i wanted to ask was like, it seems like the trend du jour that everybody's talking about, the short squeeze. Like, everything's a freaking short squeeze, you know, these days. You know, this is the next short squeeze. Can you speak to that? Like, I mean. Yeah. So, so what happens is this. So, it's been, it, it was, as you, you've been here four months. So, you've seen, like, you know, four, 
for a few months, for a couple of months, actually, there was no movers, right? Things would pop up, they'll pop down. You're like, okay. And so people were giving up. And so short sellers became very comfortable to be able to just short stuff randomly and break their rules and keep adding to a loser because eventually it's going to come down. Right. And all it takes, we keep telling you, all it takes is one big runner to destroy everybody. So you do not have good risk management. You're making money for months doing the same old thing, breaking rules, bad habits. And then you, you turn around like, oh, my God, this stock did not come down. Right? It happens. Like CEI, D-A-T-S, CEI, it's like, I'm like, what the heck? And so if you do not have good process which includes risk management you these shorts are blown out and that's what's called a short squeeze a short squeeze is when too many shorts pile on and they get trapped and that's why you have the vwap you take a look so every day we talk about vwap that's a, that was one of the biggest indicators we use to determine who's upside down on the stock right and that's in the accelerator so <clears throat> vwap tells you the volume weighted average price right. which, like that's the price at the average so if, if the vwap is at let's say two bucks and the stock is at 250 that means like the shorts are down 50 cents. Because the average price is that. That means if, if the average person buys at $2 at 250 they're up. People are up. And so if you're up, you're not going to sell the stock. You're just going to hold it, tell your friends. And so the more it goes deviated over the VWAP, the more shorts are dead. And so they're fighting, fighting to cover on every dip. Same as the reverse if you're long. If the inverse is long, so let's say the top, stock at two dollars, you buy at two dollars, now it's at one dollar fifty cents. You're like, oh my god, please go up so I can sell. So every time it goes up, I am trying to put it up, a sell order in. So you're fighting, right? So, yeah. so that's the magical line, guys. So in so the best trades are the trades that that deviate so much where, you know what? So CEI, my God, people are in from like a dollar, right? Their dollars that they added two dollars, three dollars, and now it's like at four bucks, five bucks. They're not gonna sell. There's no way. So shorts are dead. The only and then also you turn around, the stock dumps. That's because they've blown away all the shorts. So you see when the parabolic comes up, who's buying that parabolic? It's not the longs. The longs are are not selling. They're holding that thing. <laughs> it, they may be selling, but who's buying? So so if you a, a long buys trader. Your natural instinct, because you already bought, you're, you're looking to sell. And short sellers do the opposite. So this is against intuition. So in order for a short squeeze to happen, you need to have a lot of shorts. In order to have a lot of shorts, you need to have a lot of low case. That's why we, we always talk in the club, easy to borrow. If it's something's easy to borrow, oh, man, we be very careful shorting it because there's too much people shorting it. It's too crowded. And so you see these stocks go straight up, but there's no shorts. It's very difficult to sustain it. And that's why... It gets pumped and it gets dumped. But CI is a different monster. CI ran for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and you saw the blowout. You can see. So to everybody, take a look at CEI. That's the true anatomy of a big time pump and dump. It gets, you know, you get accumulated, you get fight, and the next, you know, it starts going up. And then when it deviates too much from the the VWAP, the shorts get blown out of the water. And the top came when it went all the way up to near five bucks, and it death candle down. And yeah. so the death candle, we always talk in the club. We take a look at the, the, the lingo in the club. Death candle is a signal. That's what we call a death candle. It means like, okay, something has changed. That created that, that crazy movement. It means like they blew out, they blew out the shorts. The shorts got artificial bump. And then the, there's, when, there's, when they all covered, there's no buyers left. And it just dumped down. And so that means, whoa. The buying has been exhausted because they bought it all the way up already. There's nobody buying all the way down. And so when you see that, it's time. So I'm giving you good advice for everybody out there that's playing a punk but dump. Look for these death candles. The moment you see a death candle, look to exit some. Because why did the death candle, it's called a death candle for a reason. It ran all the way up because everyone's buy, 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 buy. And then when there's no more buyers, it exhausts dumps because no one's bidding anymore right yeah it's like the craze is over so but on the way up there's constantly buyers buyer buyer that's why it's slow but when it starts to ramp up and speed up it means like dude someone's panicking um uh, margined out or whatever they ran out of money they, they force it they, they max pain they can't take it no more things like that and so the 
So there's a couple concepts. It's the death candle is a huge, huge signal. Okay. If you're looking for a signal to get the hell out, it's that <laughs> death candle. Okay. Yeah, I've learned that it, when you see something like that and you start praying, the minute you start praying, that's your second signal to get the hell out. When, 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 I, when you find religion, all of a sudden, yeah. and, and they start praying and then find different gods to pray, that's when, uh, put a heart rate monitor on yourself. When you're making money, you're happy, right? You're not, but then... You, just to, if you have it at home, just be very interesting. Right? Put it on your a heart rate monitor and see the anatomy of your trade. Yeah. When you're looking at the stock before you get in, it's calm. And then you get in, it's like, <laughs> and so when it beats too much, it means like, dude, maybe it's a good, not a good trade. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you know, guys, everyone listening to this, I, I'm more comfortable trading longs. I'm trying to learn how to short because I found over the summer, I would have made a lot of money doing that. Um, but what Val has just explained to us is I mean, it's important to learn both sides because that's what gives you an edge. If you understand the mentality of, of somebody that's trying to sell short, then that gives you an edge in, in longs. Like you wouldn't sit there and hold when it got to the top thinking it's going to go up more. So that, that's another big takeaway that I've gotten from um, my membership as well. It's really just learning both sides of it. Yeah, exactly. We always say, like, you know, Alex and I always warn, right? Like, do not short this, do not short this. And then when, when you hear as a long bias trader that do not short this, that should the ding, 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 like, hey, maybe there's a good time to go long. And right. so, with the ATS, there's a lot of these that we warn not to short, like GWH, all this stuff, like, do avoid, avoid, avoid. And so that's what happens. And so, yeah. uh, being in the community of all pumpers is bad. That's what CI died. Because you imagine that that room where everybody, everybody is a short seller. I mean, everybody's a long, right? Everyone's long. Yeah. There's nobody telling you to short sell. You don't know. It was like long. The next, you know, when it dies, it's all gravy. Add more, add more. That's how they go broke, right? And so, um, to have an equal balance, you need both sides. Shorts and so, so the moment that Alex and I are looking to short. The laws, you hey, hey, it means it, it peaks out. Nothing goes up forever, right? So we're not telling you to sell everything, but just those are the areas of resistance that you should look into. Yeah, and you guys also are really careful about if you know that it's not a good long setup either. You say it's not good for longs, are sure. So Harry, we have Harry. I have a bunch of long moderators that 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 are equally as good as we are on the long side, and so that's why it makes a unique balance. That's why I was like. And all these, all these members you, you saw, they, they, they become moderators. Our moderators were our members, right? And so maybe one day you become proficient. That's what Nancy did. Nancy came with no, hardly any knowledge, and she studies. She's a professor as well. You know, she's a student. So, so she's, you know, it's, you know, maybe this is her next challenge. She has like three degrees or something like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, what was your MBA in? Um, actually, I have two master's degrees. I have the MBA, and then I have also a master's in microbial biotechnology. So oh. <laughs> my love is biotech. Um, so you should talk to Nancy. Have you talked to her? She's a, no. she's a nurse practitioner, too. So I think she studied a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I get really interested in all these biotech stocks. But, you know, when I see a stock getting pumped on preclinical news, I'm like, holy shit, guys, that means that I mean, preclinical is animal studies. They haven't even gotten humans yet. They're like they're like twelve years away from a product. And oh, I could talk all day on what a long shot trade that would be for a long. That, see, that's very smart. So I love. So back in the day, before before MIC, uh, I was trading. The biggest thing that we usually short was um, FDA fast track phase one preclinical. Oh yeah. Because what happens is they need to pump it to get the money to do the clinicals. And, and so these are the key words. So, you know, nowadays, you know, I don't see many of those around, but if you see things like that, so, so it actually helps to trade because now that, so you, you, you're good at reading and assessing bullshit because you're in this field, but yeah. the keywords like cancer, they're like, Whoa, right. That's how people buy preclinical cure and cancer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know, it's like, Oh my God, it's like, it's like 10 years down the line. Right. But and they know that. Right. You know, and that's why people don't know that. CR. 
We don't know that. They, PR, they put the PR out because they know that it'll be Well, long. because they have experts like you in the company writing it to convince they're pumping those PRs these, from the research companies. Those are still like way early research, right? They, yeah. uh, they, they need to raise money because these are not cheap, right? These clinicals are not cheap. So, and they have no revenue. They have to pay their expensive scientists like yourself. So they, they need to sell paper. Paper is dilution of shares of the company. They issue more shares. And that's what's called an offering. And so you, that's why you notice that a lot of the FDA's um, early clinical stuff, they pump it up and they, they run it, run it. And next you know, there's an offering, come back, boom, dead. Because it's a big scam. This is part of the pump. So there's legal pumps and there's illegal pumps. Illegal pump is making up fake news, like, oh, the buyout news, right? right. Um, the legal news is called investment banking. The legal pump is investment banking. I talk about this a lot, okay? Uh, back in my day, I, I, as you can see my Twitter, it's like investment banking, this is the legal pump. This is how they do it. They pump the stock up so that they can raise the price of the offering. So if the company is, let's say, a dollar, it's a pre, it's a, there's no revenue, right? So it's a research company. It's like a dollar. And they're, like, they're running out of money because they need to do clinical, whatever, right? They need to pay their doctors. So no one's going to buy a dollar. They need to give someone a discount. So they run the stock of a dollar to two dollars. So it's a pump and dump because they put a PR that said, hey, we, we cured cancer on the rat's left toe, you know? <laughs> Something ridiculous. But the, but the key word is cancer. It's all about hype and big market exposure. And so that's why I keep telling the room like, oh, if it's, if it's an earnings release, okay, I'm not scared that short. But if, that word, if I say the word cancer, I'm scared to short it. Because, or COVID, or vaccine, right? Even though it's bullshit, it's the, the, the hype potential, it's the story. It's always about the story. And so- I had a really hard time because I'm a fundamental and you know analyst. That's what I do. Um, I work with equities, and I I had a hard time understanding that day trading is not about fundamental analysis. Like the yeah. Oops, you were losing your hair. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. It's, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's, the, the news is there just to pump the stock. Oops. Oops, we're losing. Oops, is it my Wi-Fi? I think it's your Wi-Fi. But, but yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, I think you're Is that my Wi-Fi? I, I went dead. But, um, but yeah, so that's a legal pump. That's called investment banking when they pump up the stock. So that they can raise the price, so that they can sell the shares to some institution. So, so there's a pump and dumps happen all the time, guys. So, you know, it doesn't mean it's good, or bad. It's just that's the way the stock market works, and that's why they call it rigged. It's a rigged market, but the fact that it's rigged, we know the end game. And so, you buy the pump early, you set your stop, and you get the hell out. And that's what we call the three day rule in MIC as well, because stocks usually die on the third day. Uh, it's, these days, stocks it's tough for stock to go to the third day. Uh, but it's get, but but now with CI moving up, it's like wow, a lot of stocks being pumped. So, so so be careful on those fundamentals. Don't mean anything when you're talking about a company with no revenues, right? So, well, thanks, Christine. So, oops, it's dying. So I'm, I think I'm gonna end it here. Can end on a very positive note. Uh, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. Can can anybody hear me? Is my Wi-Fi dead or is it? Is my Wi-Fi working? So, um, so is it uh, Christy that went? Her Wi-Fi went under. Okay, so Christy is okay. All right, no problem. Yeah, we'll see you back in the room. Don't end it because uh, the Wi-Fi having some. All right, thanks. Thanks. We'll see you in the room. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, that that was a good. Thank you for coming. Uh, we talked about pumps, and and now you see, you know, there's pumps on institutional side, which is legal as well. So there's pumps everywhere. How do you make money? 
you have, you have to understand the reason, the cows, the big picture, why they're pumping. The moment you understand why they're pumping it, you will make money. And so you will anticipate and you will sell before the dump. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see you back in the room.